scored 77 points a game a year ago. Lopes are going to have to key in, especially in transition. They use steals to get a lot of their early baskets. Underway. Lopes in possession. Brennan tips it back to Harrison. Harrison moves to his left. Bounce pass. Brennan underhand doesn't go, but a foul. I like that early action. You bring your 6'10", 250 pounder up high, set that pick, and he rolls right down the basket. How about that delivery of the basketball from Harrison? Slips it between the two defenders, and Duke Brennan, right to the rack, gets a foul. Going to earn a trip to this charity stripe to start the season off. Braxton Stacker picks up the foul for the Red Hawks. Brennan, the transfer from Arizona State. Take a seat. Didn't take long for the Lopes to find the scoring column here. You think maybe they would have some jitters, but uh, they look like an all well oiled machine on that first possession. <laughs> Rings out and rebound. Try to pick it up. McLaughlin. Foul again. Good hustle by Dave. Dave McLaughlin doing his work early, just knife between those two red shirts and got that basketball. And I don't know if there was a foul, but they're going to take it on baseline out, out of bounds. bounds. This is where GCU's been really good. These BOPs, it's baseline out of bounds plays, trying to get buckets early. Tie on Grant Foster. Oh, sweet turnaround. He's taken off right where he left off in that exhibition game where he had over 20 points. A variety of different moves. He's a slasher. He's not just a shooter. Oh, look out. Well, you want to talk about going to the rack and finishing high and hard. The high handoff to number 44 who slammed it down with two hands right over the top of the GCU defense. That's not going to make those guys feel very happy. Little bit of heat, little pressure, stop, pop inside the line. Heavy rebound. Hold down. Rebound. Beal. McLaughlin. Yeah, a little too much down there by McLaughlin. He got one early. Tried to go down there after they had secured that ball. There's a little contact, and I like the you know, fact that the referee is going to make sure that nothing gets out of hand too early in his basketball game. They've been whistling McLaughlin for his first. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. Barry, as deep as this team is, mm -hmm. he is the key defensively to this squad. He can't afford to get a second quick foul. Martin brings it up. Smart. Illegal screen. Yeah, illegal screen coming off. It's, it's, it's a tough one, right? So... Early shots were trying to wait for the guard to come off, but he's going to throw that left hip into the defender, and that's going to get called every time at the point of attack right in the center of the floor. Harrison I by Aquan Smart brings it up across the center line. Just underway at GC Arena in Phoenix. Lothan. Brennan swings it over to the far side. Moore back out. Tie on Grant Foster. Heavy traffic, whoa, McLaughlin down low. Brennan in the paint, driving the left shoulder, up and under. Picks up a rebound, off the glass, who could have harm? How about DB down there on that block? He took his time, he wait for the traffic to clear, then he just pulls right at that left shoulder, right hand turn. I'm not quite sure why that wasn't called traveling, but he got his own air ball, and then he went right back up with it. I like that with a little strength right here, a little bit more want to as he took the ball to the basket. Running right back at the charity stride. the old-fashioned way <laughs> as you transfer over right you want to make a good impression first time first game and you get yourself four quick points to start the basketball game and Dada back to Martin heavy rebound pulled down by Gabe McLaughlin yeah, I think the white shirts can own the glass if they put their minds to it baseline Ray Foster feels back out take another round oh big turn doesn't go wow wow Grant Foster, he has got some spin moves down there. He looks like my dryer that I had down here, just out here. Takes him hard to the left and spins back. There's no way the defense can recover. All they can do is foul and send him to the line. Twenty-three points in the exhibition victory. The Kansas City, Kansas native.
quick team fouls by the Red Hawks. Yeah, it's been a little time uh, prior to the tip off tonight talking to assistant coach Casey Shaw, and he was waxing poetic about Tyon Grant Foster. Said that the kid is a 24 year old. He understands how to play the game. He loves his length. His ability to build a slash to the floor. We're getting early uh, against Dose of what it is he was talking about. Martin brings it up. Takes it back. Baseline. Oh, looking to move on Moore and does so. Loose ball. On the floor is Moore. But Beal picked it up for the Red Hawks. Takes it back. Hide by Moore. Steps back. Well beyond the arc. Ooh, Moore, look at that. Knocked it out. I like the tenacity of Moore out there applying the pressure on the basketball. Just seven to shoot. Stacker to inbound. Donna leaves for Martin. Martin, far side, cuts back to the top. I don't know the shot clock. Near side, shot clock violation. They did not realize the shot clock was short when they inbounded that ball. Lopes defense getting an early, early 30 second shot clock violation. In the more motions Harrison up. I like this more handling the ball. Let Harrison play a little off ball some. Hasn't done a lot of it. Coach Drew talked about that in the pregame. In tight, Brandon underhand with a kiss. Wow, they are spoon feeding Duke Brandon right to the rack. Six quick ones. 7 0 run for the Lopes. Stacker. Tyon Grant Foster loose ball on the floor. Harrison quickly. Tyon Grant Foster, no doubt about it. Oh my goodness, Coach Corn needs a timeout. This team is out of his team is out of control. 24 second by uh, 30 second violations and turnovers. Down 12 to it. It's not the Lopes defense is having the crowd is rattling the Red Hawks. Oh, more again on the floor. Loose ball. Harrison can't pick it up. Gets it over to Morton. Bounce pass inside, back in front, coming back with Tyon Grant Foster. Good hustle, but the foul. How about Moore and Grant Foster with the defense? They are all over the floor. I love this one right here by Moore to Brennan. And then look at them strapped, getting on the floor, knocking the balls away, and then right into your living room with the slam dunk. Adam Larson checks in for the Red Hawks. I really, think, bench. I really think those Red Hawks needed a timeout. They, this, yeah. Maybe this baseline out of bounds will give them a chance to execute, get themselves a bucket here. They desperately need something positive in this possession. Martin wants to drive baseline, swoops over. Well off the mark there by Kobe Clark. Knocked out by the Red Hawks. Couple subs coming in for the Red Hawks and maybe some more ball handlers to handle that pressure. Look at them coming out with a full court man to man press here. Double on Harrison. Brennan comes back. Made that look easy. Look at the two bigs, the two 6 10 and 6 7 guys brought the ball over half court. Harrison. I'd buy her shirt. Left hand swooping, not there. Brennan is. This is fun. Harrison to the rack. I thought he was going to dish it initially to Brennan, but I think he shot that one off glass on purpose. Jared's over here agreeing with me. That was one of those ones where I can't get it through the defense, but take it over the defense. Nice back to the gut right there. Coming up fresh off a of bench, providing the lift for the ball club. Larson, Adam Larson, Fenimore, Wisconsin. A bit of a drought there for the Red Hawks. They get their fourth point. Lead is still 10. Grant Foster. A little bit of pressure there by the Red Hawks. Good work. Knocked out. Yeah, that's going to be Grant Foster's second foul after he lost the ball. He's going to have to go to the bench. Time out on the floor. The Lopes lead by 10. Last night, you're just getting ready. You're getting excited. <laughs> Check it out. Those matchups.
seeing when those rivals meet up later in the season, circling some dates on the calendar, and now, well, it's here. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> like the like Christmas Eve. Yeah. That's kind of how it was. I was on, on my social media, putting the, like, videos and all the things, getting ready for the season. That's great. My daughter, big right hand, doesn't go. Knocked out. So like Grant Foster comes out of the game, they come back with Curry and Moore down there underneath, along with Isaiah Shaw, it's giving those guys a little break. Break. They're kind of subbing in five-minute intervals, and this new group comes in and they provide even more of a defense of look for this Lopes basketball team. Knocked out by Curry, Did running you? with eight. Grant Foster with six. So. Well, the scoring from these five now. <laughs> yeah, all, all the scoring's on the bench, that's right. And, and, and Curry, he's 240 pounds, maybe a biscuit or two more than that, but he is one of the most athletic players Coach Drew was saying. On, yeah. on the floor. So no no doubt that he got fired out from the paint and got that deflection. What's going on here? You got a spot on the floor? So might have got a little blood on the... Beautiful white unis. Yeah, you know, uh, one of the oh, national talking cool. heads, the, wow, that's a pretty good cleaner they got there, came right off that white oh. jersey, uh, was saying that the Lopes jerseys are in the top ten in college basketball. So that was high praise. I was Andy Katz, one of those dudes. Yeah, yeah, pretty smart. I like that yeah, logo. Motion logo. It, it, it looks like the players are going fast when they're standing still. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I should get something like that. Seven second chance points. Seven points off the turnovers for GCU. Coach Korn has gone to his bench early here. Coach Drew goes to his bench with a 10 point lead. Luke Ward, Sidney Curry, and Isaiah Shaw come in. Eight-man rotation early on. Yeah, that looks like foul called on Idata. Yeah, an another one of those illegal screens. So uh, just a number of turnovers, you know, uh, shot clock violations, illegal screens. Right now, it, it, it's no surprise the offense is a little slower to get on track to start a season than the defense, but got to tighten it up. Don't want to fall behind by more than 15 points here in this first half if they can help if they come back with a little zone defense to try to throw off the Lopes. Lopes score their last five up the floor. Harrison shut down. McLaughlin puts it on the floor, drives. Leaves it for Isaiah Shaw. Eight on the shot clock, seven. He'll swoop in. From the key, bounce pass Harrison. Got to throw it up. Two on the shot clock. He does. Oh, doesn't go. Curry tried to get the rebound. Peeled away by Kobe Clark. Here come the Red Hawks. Swung into the corner for Larson. Good. Dude, Larson's got a trigger. He let him know about a point in his pistols after that corner three there. And that's what I was saying about this Simo team. They will get up shots quickly. Like I said, 77 points a year ago, fourth in their conference, won four straight games. So they're not they're used to playing on the road, probably from behind. Shaw for three. Bam! Isaiah Shaw, the confidence in this young man is as high as it's ever been. He was just a scared little doe. His freshman year, skinny, unsure of himself on the floor. He's added muscle. He's added a lot of confidence. Comes off that bench and delivers a big three. Adana leaves it there. Step back. DJ Ward. Shaw looking to move. Martin swooping left. Not hit there. Isaiah Shaw to get Gabe McLaughlin. Quickly, Harrison. Far side, all the way over. Luke Ward, three. A little heavy. Curry, underneath. Dada got a hand on it, tried to push it off. Found its way over into the Red Hawks. Right, Curry couldn't get that one to go, but I like the fact that he got his position early and got on that offensive glass. Ooh, Larson from the corner. Man, man. Oh, man, back to back. 38% from three-point land. Yeah, KYP, know your personnel. When you're out there defensively, this guy's got a flamethrower single-handedly bringing the Red Hawks back. Lead is now seven for TCU. Curry. Oh, we'll give him some room there. Moving around, left hand, and it rolls around. Harrison tries. Oh, and he does it! Woo. 
You know, when I was a big, I never had a spin move down there. When you're 250 pounds, you get a spin move down there around that base, that baseline. A little lefty there, couldn't get it to go, but no quit in these lopes on that offensive glass. Even the 6'4 Harrison getting down there, Pratt chewing glass, and he throws it off a Red Hawk jersey. Moore back in the game. Harrison takes a breather. Look, care do for more. Did he have it up like that on Wednesday? I'm kind of digging it. Tyon had it up. McLaughlin, bounce pass. Luke War, right hand. Oh, does it. Pulled down by Larson quickly. The Red Hawks on the run. Smart, three, heavy, big rebound. War went up for it. The Lope started six of ten from the floor since 0 for 4. They're looking to hit a bucket. More drives, underhand. Not going to happen. Can't pull it down. T.J. Beal picks it up quickly up the floor. Smart tries to move on Sean. Knocked down. Oh, they corrected it. Originally, the officials had said Simo uh, basketball, but they have corrected that now, giving it to the Lopes. Nice job by Isaiah Shaw presenting his chest to the defense and taking this collision. Look at that, right between the numbers. And the referee said, no harm, no foul. Play on. McLaughlin heaves up the three off the mark. Not the shot you want when you're struggling to score. Gabe McLaughlin's got to use his muscle and go inside for a basket or get to that line. Rob Martin. Lost the handle, pushes out to Smart. Looking to move on Sean. Lost the ball. Here comes Moore in the lows. Near side. Surveys back to McLaughlin. Far side to Sean. Throws up the three. Good. Oh, Isaiah Shaw. Isaiah Shaw's been the one player off of that bench that's been able to come in and be effective offensively, knocking down a second triple here in about three minutes of action. Lead is back to 10. Bounce pass. Oh, Sidney Curry. Picked up by Colin Moore. Slicey, dicey. Doesn't go, but draws the foul. How about the hustle by Curry? Big Curry doing it with the defense down there, using those long limbs, getting that ball. He took out about four seats in the first row. Molly Miller, the head coach for GCU Women's Basketball. All right, head coach Molly Miller, just like on the men's side, women's basketball picked number one to finish in the WAC. And we'll get a chance to see them up close on November 29th when they go up against UTRGV. Yeah, look forward to that. What a come from behind victory. Ice water, but Nadia Evans was red hot from beyond the arc. Five of 12 from three-point land. Led the team with 15 points and a big win over St. Mary's. You know, we got a chance to come out after our production meet and to catch the final yeah. minute. And then they, I didn't realize they got as many stops as they did in the final seven, but two impressive stops down the stretch in the final minute there to go on a 5-0 run to win that basketball game. Corner. Ward back out. Mort. Ward. Ten on the shot clock. Martin. Tight D. Four. Beal looks for three. Front rim pulled down by Brennan. That was excellent defense coming out of that timeout by the Lopes. Give Isaiah Shaw more and, and Luke Moore a lot of credit. Moore doesn't go. Brennan with the rebound. Heavy traffic. Look to. I think he lost his balance underneath and didn't want to take the ball with him to the baseline. Wow. Brennan picks it up. The trio of Shaw, Brennan, and Foster. 20 points. 7 of 8 from the field. The rest of the team, unfortunately, 0 for none. First trip to the free throw line. For Simo, while the Lopes are six of seven from the charity strike. Well, you know it's just a matter of time before Ray Harris is saying to game the bluff and find their balance offensively. So if you got the new guys coming in and providing that offensive spark, and doing the job defensively, number of turnovers or ill-advised shots so far out of the Red Hawks outside of Larson's corner threes really been doing a wonderful job defensively in this first opening nine and a half minutes of action. 
Stacker, free throw line, heavy rebound, pulled down by Brennan. Brennan grabs everything that comes off of that board on both sides of the floor. He's got himself five boards already in this game. Harrison stops. Oh, lost the handle. Bounce passed. Turnover. Pushed up. Stacker. Stopped there. Tie on Grant Foster. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back to college basketball. Was it Grant Foster or War that got what what I thought was War, but you're right. Oh, War was oh, down there. It was Grant Foster that comes in from the backside and just says, you shall not pass. <laughs> Kids linking. Thank you. War, corner. Clock pushed it out, went out on the Red Hawks. Again, it's that pressure on ball defense, shutting down that baseline, giving them no opportunity to get to the basket. They're trying to push that thing over to the left side of the floor and just threw it right into the GCU coaching staff. But that's eight turnovers for the Red Hawks. I know Coach Corn is not happy with the way this basketball team is taking care of the ball the first 10 minutes to start this one. Luke Ward, extended minutes, along with Isaiah Shaw. Oh, this should be lunch down here. Throw it back in there. Oh. Foster drives. Right hand, chair drop. My goodness. Okay, th this is a team that was in the NC2A tournament a year ago, and Grant Foster is having his way slashing to the basket against these defense. Early leaves it there in the corner. Bounce pass. Throws off his leg. I think they say uh, Duke Brennan might have poked that one out from behind, but look at this one more time. Just a little hesitation, just kind of a jab step baseline, go right back middle and right to the rack. Got the player on your hip being a jersey chaser. You're going to love the way this kid attacks the basket, Barry. Martin wants a little help early there. Stop, pop. Big rebound. Luke Ward trying to get it. Coming up with it. It'll be Clark. Red Hawks regain it. Driving, swooping little shot by Martin. Put back, doesn't go. Loose ball, somebody pick it up. Martin's big does. out here. Nobody can grab it. Ward holds it for a second. Looking to move on Shaw. Brennan comes up for support. Look out. For sure now. Hide by Harrison. Far side, Clark from the key. Travel. Kobe Clark. Well, the Red Hawks that time, they got on the glass. They got some of their only offensive rebounds that they got in the half, but they just could not execute once they got their third opportunity. Normally you give a team three chances to score, and they will, but another turnover plaguing the Red Hawks offensively. Harrison. Brennan! Bam! Brennan is making it look easy out there. Just a real smart basketball player, knowing how to set a screen and roll into the basket. He is just beating up the interior of the Red Hawk defense. 15-point lead, GCU. In the corner, Larson, he's drained three, two, two threes over there. Now, up top, he'll drive. Underhand, foul. The Larson's got game. I like the way this kid moves, just his those little micro movements that he has is fantastic. And then one more time. I love the way that uh, Harrison strings this one out to the big. He makes the Big have to stay with the basketball a little longer than he wants to because of his three-point shooting ability allows Duke Brennan that extra half second to get down right into that painted area. Larson to the line, 65% season ago. Uh, him back in. Sorry, Barry. I don't think you could ask for a better start out of the defense by Coach Drew's troops, and you've gotten here in the first, you know, 12 minutes of this basketball game. They have done it all. They've got out, closed down on shots. They've rebounded their defensive board. They've taken charges. They've blocked shots. They're doing it. Harrison brings it up. Isaiah Shaw remains on the floor. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, Rocket Sports Center. That's, that's not that's not fair. <laughs> that's a behind the back spin move and leave the defense in your wake. For sure. Stop pop short. Harrison comes back for the rebound. Mercy. 
Harrison weaving, twisting around, back to Shaw, three. Why not? Ooh. Rebound up. Come up over the top. Time to play, and right now, outside of Larson, he doesn't got a player on that, uh, in those red jerseys that can figure out how to put that ball in the basket. McLaughlin at the line. That game, McLaughlin, he's another one of these guys in a Lopes jersey who likes to crash that offensive glass, and he got in there, did his work early, and they had to foul him to keep him from putting that ball back up and in. When he first got here, he wasn't that good from the free throw line. He has really worked on his stroke. Red Hawks, oh, for their last seven up the floor. Larson, Harrison on tight, swung over, driving, foul, Isaiah Shaw. You know, smart down there. Smart was that one guy in their exhibition game with 16 points. That time he took uh, the slower Isaiah Shaw from that three-point line, just dribbled him right to the basket. That's what a good, smart player is going to do. You have trouble scoring. You got to realize I got to figure out a way. I can't keep bombing away from the outside. Figure out a way to give me a bucket inside or earn a trip to that free throw line. And we think an opportunity to do both: get the bucket and the free throw. Shaw checks out. Curry in the game. Colin Moore back in. It's like anything that comes off of that rim, and just no doubt one of those guys are going to get it. It's not Brennan or, or Glossin, it's Foster or, or uh, Curry. Ursher got a hand on it. Curry's trying to pick it up off the floor. Moore. Red Hawks pressure, peels out, blind pass. Tyler Red Foster can't run it home. Draws a foul. So I love this one by Moore because he really makes the defense commit to him. And then when he dishes that over, Grant Foster's already got ahead of Steve. And he tried to put that thing in the way back time machine and bring that one back from 2021, the last time he was on the floor. Early checks back in for the Red Hawks. So some guys are just ready for the moment, right, Barry? Like you, you would think this guy would be a bundle of nerves first time, and you know, low shoes uniform. The, the game actually really counts. Had stepped on the floor in two years, he might have some, you know, nervous butterflies or some jitters or. You know, that extra adrenaline pump that makes you ineffective for the first five or ten minutes. But he has been ready right from the get-go. Smart. Early with a kiss. Smart starting to operate offensively now. Nice delivery of the basketball to the big fella underneath. We talked about watching. He's just a high percentage because he gets spoon-fed just like that. That big 240-pound frame. Three. Foul committed. Ursher. Cardinal sent fouling a three-point shooter and sending him to the line for three shots. You're down, you're getting doubled up. 32 to 16. You gotta play good defense without fouling. And just if he knocks it down, just pat him on the backside saying, hey, good shot. But give your team an opportunity to get on the glass and rebound that miss. You mentioned that time machine for Tyon Grant Foster. Yep. He's in double figures for the first time since December 11th, 2020. Oh 1,060 days ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Great find there. Did you get that one from Josh? Of course I did. <laughs> Josh Hauser. Best SID in the business. He does a good job getting those game notes. Something woke me up last night at 1.30. And Josh had sent me notes at 12.45 in the morning. So I started reading them. Grant Foster off the mark. Here come the Red Hawks. Smart. On the drive. Reverse. Oh, it's a sweet move by Smart. Doesn't go. Oh, my. $10 move. 10 cent finish. Iron on kind that time for Smart. Grant Foster. 
Harrison takes it from McLaughlin. Looking for Gabe, but he's guarded heavily. Curry up over the top. McLaughlin heavy traffic. Tyon Grant Foster baseline drive with a kiss off the window. Making it look easy. Did you oh. think Curry was about to shoot that lefty three pull? Oh, right? Yeah, that's right, huh? So 21? 22. 20, 21. 21, yeah, 21. He's been, looks like he's been here a few years as well. Right here at senior. He's leading rebounder a season ago. Turnaround, Beal, short, Curry. That was a good positive possession and a good shot by Beal. It just came up a little short. Moore. Push back out, Harrison. Smart quickly over to guard. McLaughlin swung the far side. Tie on Grant Foster. Three. Oh, my. No. For sure. Second time. That's the second time. Oh. Wonder what's going through that coach's head right now. Oh, oh, head shake. Well, you know, Barry, we, we sometimes we forget that a team that doesn't usually get play against a big crowd like this, how it affects their game in the first half. I think that's what's happened to the Red Hawks here. They are completely out of sync offensively, and now it's starting that is starting to creep into the defensive side of the ball where they're making silly fouls because they're they're so far behind. One of the first uh, things Grant Foster hasn't done right in his first half as he missed the front of the, the three shots here. To go back to that havoc effect, it, it, it takes effect. Generally, it's 10 minutes. We're 15 minutes almost into this basketball game. They still haven't settled down. I wonder if the uh, half can't come soon enough for Coach Corner and his staff. Isaiah Shaw in. Ray Harrison out. And I got two of the three. 13 points on four or five from the field, five and six from the line. Grant Foster having a great first half. Larson. Beal. Near side. Clark. Smart peeling off. Guarded heavily by Shaw. Look to go over the top. Tyon Grant Foster said nope. And he's fouled by Smart. And three throws coming in the, in the double bonus. Uh, the Lopes, so he'll go to the line for a couple more opportunities. Got a chance to talk. You can see this one more time using his length, just getting out there uh, and getting that steal. But I got I talked to uh, McLaughlin before the game. I said, what do you guys call Grant Foster? It's kind of hard to come, keep saying Grant Foster all the time. Yeah. He said they call him Uncle Yon. I don't know why. I didn't That's get that easier. one. Yeah, but, <laughs> but Uncle Yon, he's been anything but sleepy here in his first half. Uh, doing it all defensively and offensively. He got himself six. Uh, make that 14. Uh, going on, working on 15th point right here of these Lopes 30. Eight points here in this first half. Oh, with the, look at that lead, and then you look at those two guys just wait, just wait, can't wait to get back. Josh Baker and Javon Blackshear Jr. coming back. Yeah, I talked to Baker before the game. He says he's planning on playing on Sunday. Back from the shoulder surgery. So he's got 99 or 90% of his range of motion back, but all oh, the strength. Oh, my goodness. Tie on Grant Foster. Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona. Smart called for the foul. Every time you take a shot at tie on Grant Foster, I, does he does he perspire? Like you don't, there's not a drop of sweat on the guy. Well, I don't know if he's sweating or not, but he's not breathing hard. It just oh. seems like the game is coming real easy for him right now. And even that one, I think he wanted to get the ball over to one of his teammates on that, but they were covered. So he realized the smart thing to do is just go ahead and attack the rack and get that that contact. Wolves with 18 points off of turnovers. Simo one point. And working on free throws, uh, 10 and 11. And I don't think the Red Hawks have even shot six yet. So, yeah, just two of five are the Red Hawks from the free throw line. Smart checks out. For two loose. Clark picked it up. Rob Martin brings it up. Under five to go, opening half. Beal frees him up. 
Ward, swooping right hand. Uh, he just attacked the, bit, the feet of Curry, said, I'm too fast for you. And then he threw it a little higher just in case Curry wanted to go up and try to block that shot. Got it up quick before Curry could react, cut to that deficit. Stop the 7 0 run by the Lopes. Up over the top, Curry. Knocked out. Loose ball. Whose is it? Lopes. Well, Curry got a good entry pass, but he made the mistake some bigs will make from time to time. You bring that ball down below your waist, and that's where those little guards will feast on it, get in and knock that ball out of your hands. When you put those ball up underneath your chin, and get, that's right there, flare those elbows out to the side. Yeah, you catch one of them guards in the jaw and it, are in the nose. They'll stop doing that, they will, I guarantee yeah. you they ain't coming back a second time for some of that. Tyon Grant Foster. Oh, my goodness. We got something special here. You think? This is going to be fun calling the action when this guy's on the floor. That little extra hang time to get from the left side of the floor to the right was impressive. Ward, far side. Shaw trying to stay with him. Back door early. A couple buckets inside now for the Red Hawks. Then they got to be, they, that's what they need. They need some positive action to go into that basket to take to the half one. Is that more? More crashing inside, getting that body contact. 3.47 to go, 21 point lead, GCU. He, he realizes it's just gets a 40 game, a 40, 40 minute game, and, and you, you don't win it in 20. So I'm sure he'll probably go out there and point to a couple things if they want to tighten up. And then it might be a good opportunity to try to get some other guys in there. Uh, off of that pine, you know, they, they got 12 guys that scored in the exhibition game So, you know, he can go deep and feel confident that got guys that can uh, contribute and, and hold on to a large lead Brennan back on the floor for the Lopes. He's recorded his second highest scoring game of his career with 10 in this opening half He scored 12 at San Francisco on December 21st 2022 up over the top doesn't go Brennan got a hand on it Pushed it over to tie on Grant Foster Heaves up the three. Is there anything that's not going to drop for Grant Foster? He's going to spoil us. We're going to expect this now. I'm at a little bit of a loss for words, what I'm watching here for a guy. <laughs> uh, coming in here, transfers in, hadn't played basketball in two years, and Oh, home, ho hum. Just, just six or seven from the field. I got 21 points, eight of 11 from the free throw line, blocking shots, getting steals, getting out in transition, spoon feeding my big. It's been an impressive performance. Clark, DJ Ward, tied by Tyon Grant Foster. Now come in, in the game for the Red Hawks. Martin. El Camille, three. Ooh. Yeah, a couple positive baskets. You take it to the hole a couple times. You get some buckets inside. You come back. You knock down a three. So the Red Hawks get a little momentum. Even though the deficit's at 23 points, they can feel a little bit better about the way they finished out the half. More back to McLaughlin. Three-pointer. Good! Well, you, you've seen uh, Harrison a couple times drag that screen out and drop it down to Brendan Moore into the basket. Now this time Moore, he does the same thing, but instead of rolling to the basket, McLaughlin pops behind that three-point line. The defense loses him. He had all day to shoot that ball. Three-pointer. Good. Back-to-back. -back. This time Kobe Clark. Most points in the first half by a low player last season. Ray Harrison at 21 against Grambling on November 18th, 2022. That's been surpassed here tonight with the newcomer, Tyon Grant Foster. One more time here. Just a nice job by Moore. Really just takes two players with him to the basket. Anytime you get that ball below the free throw line, it just puts too much pressure on the uh, defense. And, just fires a great pass back to McLaughlin. Catch and shoot bucket. Check that. It's been matched by Tyon Grant Foster. Kick back out McLaughlin. High by Martin. Near the baseline. 
Nice move by Martin to free it up. On the floor, Clark can't rally it up, but the Red Hawks do. Put up there by El Camil, doesn't go. Oh, that's Duke Brennan again, applying that pressure. Beat off the initial move, but just with the athleticism and the length to recover. In the corner, Luke War. Good! Most well, made of threes now. Five of nine from behind the arc in his first half. And I think got a wet spot out on the floor so the officials have called an official timeout to clean that up but one more time here GCU just doing a real good job sharing the basketball they got it for seven assists but even though we had a couple of uh, buckets to the back you know that uh, been passes to the basket that have resulted in fouls and they got to the free throw line as a result that would have been buckets they had 21 assists in the exhibition game when they scored 104 points and doing a really good job against this uh, tournament team from a year ago, really sharing that basketball, taking care of it. Not very many turnovers here in this first half. Beals tree off the mark. Rebound, Martin. Front rim doesn't go. El Camil. Right hand. That doesn't go. Wow. I think they got more underneath. That's one of the first times where Duke Brennan had a ball come off of his side of the floor where he didn't get it. It's it, it's almost shocking that uh, he didn't get one because he's gobbled up everything that's come his way. Six boards here in this first half, and I think they got war underneath. Sometimes these officials, they start blowing that whistle a little faster when the deficit gets larger for the visiting team. But anyway, getting on that offensive glass, SEMO players doing a better job here to finish this half. Minute six to play. Doesn't go. Brennan steps in front of McLaughlin's, gives him a big smile. Harrison. More. Three. Ooh, just a little heavy. A little too much there from Luke Moore. Yeah, well, you know, you just got you just gave up a foul underneath and put the team in the penalty uh, the uh, penalty situation bonus situation rather That one there 92 feet away from the from your basket knowing the other team is already in the bonus is just a silly foul But you're gonna see some stuff like that early on, you know the first five four to five basketball games Just as teams get used to players get used to being back on the floor trying to harness those emotions that extra adrenaline and that energy Larson drains the front end. Isaiah Sean steps onto the floor for Luke Warren. Timeout called by the Oaks. Timeout, GCU, 52.7 on the clock. Close out the opening half. Oaks, don't you, you know? You ever been up to uh, Northern Arizona, Barry? Northern Arizona, yeah. University? Yeah. I've been to Fargo, too. Okay. <laughs> I, I, when I first came here to the Valley back in, oh gosh, 02, Suns had training, training camp, camp yeah. up in northern Arizona. And boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what, there's some altitude up there. You're in training camp going twice a day, it'll burn your lungs out. They did that for a number of years, didn't they? Yeah, I, I, I did just just one year up there, and then the second year I was with the Suns, they, we, we stayed down here for camp. McLaughlin front rim, put back Colin Moore. They're just having a way on, on the offensive board right now with the red shirts. They're not putting body on body. I know they're undersized, but you got to drive those guys away from the basket. One of the reasons why Dennis Rodman back in the day was such a good offensive rebounder was he a defensive rebounder. He moved guys away from the basket. 11 second chance points from the low off all those offensive boards. Beal three, good for the Red Hawks. Uh, number of triples here to end the half. Now up to 30 points for the uh, Red Hawks. They're going to feel a little bit better about themselves, even though they're down 24. He got the Hemi Award for the first half, didn't he? He was that guy in that first half. Did everything right. And I, I liked his aggressiveness. I mean, there's there's sometimes guys come out, they're, you know, first time in a new uniform, new team, and these new surroundings, and they're timid. But uh, this kid came ready to play. Christie turning around, Stacker stop there. Harrison. A little thrown it away by Grant Foss. Look at this high hand. Whoops, where did McLaughlin go? I don't understand. Hey, McLaughlin ran out to the, the corner there in that little short porch, and Harrison was trying to give, give him an easy dunk out. He had to do is keep running to the rim. All right, we do now. Let's, do, let's try that over. Well, it's kind of that early season miscommunication, right? So 
Yeah, I love this one here there by that defense. You're going to play for Coach Drew. You better play some D. And you talk about all the points that uh, Uncle Jan had, but he's doing on the defensive end, too. Doesn't go for Harrison. Sluggish off the jump here in the second. Beal. Back to Martin. Martin looking to drive. Throws back out. Stacker. Smart. Off balance. Pulled down by McLaughlin. Harrison brings it up. Moves right. Corner. Tie on Grand Foster. Oh! Starts off how he ended the half. Yeah, one, for, one three in the first half. Gets his first shot from three point line here to go in the second half. Give him in 24 points in county. Harrison called for the foul. And I like this by Harrison, right? So this guy averaged 18 points a game. He hadn't really gotten going offensively. He realizes his partner on the wing has got a flamethrower right now and just very unselfishly gives them the basketball. That's that culture. That's that family. Coach Drew talks about all the time with you when you do those coaches interviews with him, Barry. you imagine a season ago if you looked and saw Ray Harrison at three points? Oh, this team would be down, right? Yep. There'd be no chance they would even be in the basketball game, probably down double figures and or, or, or worse. Blocking with five. Moore back to tie on Grant Foster. Beal on him. Step back. Does he do it again? No, off the mark. Pulled down by Early. A little bit of a heat check, I guess, when you got 24 points. You've only missed one shot. The coaching staff will give you a little latitude on that one. Kick back out. Smart has to come up for it. Corner. Stacker. Back out. Nice move. Guy closed out him hard and aggressively. He read the defense. Put the ball on the floor. One dribble. Gathered. Collected himself. And right up over the top of the defense. We need to talk about that little run that the Red Hawks had in the first half. That's going to help him out. No doubt about it. Duke Brennan on a feed from Harrison. Harrison just won a six from the field. But boy, is he dishing that basketball. Four assists and a number of other positive plays that have led to either free, some free throws for his mates. Brennan ties a career high. Beal drives, turns, twists. Tyon got a hand on it. Back to Martin, though. Ooh, Duke. Duke got caught watching the basketball, and his man just stepped right in front of him. But look at Harrison one more time. Just sucks the defense right to him with that uh, dribble drive down the lane and just slips it right over to his big man nice and quick. And, and Duke Brennan, he doesn't mess around, right? Not the most explosive guy, but at 6'10", he can get up over the top of that thing and finish with some power. And it, that's like the, the bigs we had a year ago. Yeah, put it on the floor. Well, if, if they even caught it, right? Like, they just didn't have that explosion to catch uh, and good hand-eye coordination to catch the ball. And I, I like the Gahan and uh, Aiden for some of the things they did on the floor. But offensively around the basket, that wasn't their strength. Yeah, loved it. Catch it and go. And that's why you push all those weights on those sleds and in that uh, – the leg press so you can catch that basketball gathering go and, and just and just finish with some strength around the basket and they called me tank for a reason i wasn't the most explosive guy but i, I played with a lot of power when i had my opportunities uh and that's when we played 90s basketball anyway but that's that's what you see right now out of curry out of brennan when those guys come off the bench oh man driving does he go for Simo? They worked really hard for that turnover. Dion Grant Foster, corner, Harrison, three. It's been a chilly night for Harrison offensively. One of seven from the field, but I love that one by Grant Foster. Pushing that ball on the attack and then finding the corner three shooter. Swooping right hand by Smart, short. Curry leaves it for Tyon Grant Foster on the run. Twisting, turning, right hand and off the glass. Jared and I just look at each other uh, with big old smiles on our faces because this kid is fun to watch. I mean, this thing is getting sideways real quick, almost a 30-point advantage for the Lopes. But, boy, it's been fun to watch this kid operate. He's not banging him in the head from the outside. He's taking him and putting him in the spin cycle, going right along, guys. Brown guys with 24 years of experience. This kid knows how to play the game of basketball. Cool him down. Give him some uh, liquids. 
Isaiah Shaw back out on the floor. Sidney Curry and Luke Ward join Harrison and McLaughlin. Long range. Easy rebound. Ward leaves it there for Harrison. Approaching the 16-minute mark. Early second half. All GCU tonight in this regular season opener against two conference champions. Ohio Valley Conference Red Hawks against the WAC champion Lopes. Timeout on the floor, 61-32, all GCU. Let's take a look at that one. But boy, no quitting that bunch. They turned it on in the second half, final seven minutes. Shut them down, 21-0 run. Two big stops down the stretch, too. Real, two real pressure, pressure uh, clutch stops. Ward driving, swooping right hand, front rim, loose ball. Knocked out by Idana. Coach Korn lost his top three scorers from a season ago. Red Hawks trail here. You're out. Ward up over the top to Curry. Adana on him. Driving that right shoulder, swooping left hand. Not enough. Larson to Stacker. Yeah, you see a lot of bigs and they shoot that hook shot underneath. They're shooting from the front of the rib. You got to shoot that thing to the back of the rib. And then Red Hawks come back again. Larson gets a bucket and then a steal and, uh, underneath. And Ward gets himself a basket. So a quick turnaround there after that timeout by Coach Horn. I don't know what he said to him, but he lit a fire under his group. Coach Drew on his feet. Rebound, Curry. Walls the foul. I'm looking at Curry and I'm going, this guy's got a little nasty to his yeah. game, right? You got you know that and that's kind of kind of what you want. I hate to keep picking on the, the, the bigs from a year ago. But they weren't the Bash brothers, right? They were they were big dudes, but they didn't have that just that little nasty mean streak. The Keontae when they, Yeah, when they when they got that ball around the basket. This guy here in the exhibition game and the minutes that he's had on the floor tonight. He got a little nasty to his game. I think sometimes you need a player like that that's got a little edge to him, a little nasty, and that's going to serve the Lopes good when you got that guy coming off the bench that can kind of change the complexion of the basketball game. McLaughlin and Harrison take a seat. Fouling the Red Hawks underneath, didn't do blocking out. I think Ward was able to knife in there, and they, they held him down. Idata called. Idata will check out. Early back in for the Red Hawks. Colin Moore, baseline out of bounds. What was good in that first half? Six points, number of nice little dishes to his digs underneath. A couple of assists, go along with two rebounds. Ty and Grant Foster. Might have got a little hand on that one. Here come the Red Hawks. Ward, drive, stop, pop at the key. Isaiah Shaw on the run. Doesn't go. Draws the foul, though. Stacker call. I love that one by Moore. He gets that ball in almost one motion before he even comes down with the rebound. He fires that thing out to about a half court, if not a little further. And I like that from Isaiah Shaw. A couple years ago, he would have tried to lay it up. Now he's going in there realizing, I'm going to try to dunk it on you. Well, he's got the and guns if, now. And if I don't get the dunk, right. Yeah, he's got this big Schwarzenegger-style uh, pythons for arms. That, and... He's trying to slam that one, realizing if I go hard, I'll get the call from the official. If I go soft, they'll let that little body contact go, and I'm not going to get the bucket. Growing up before our eyes, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. Growing out, filling out nicely. It's great when athletes recognize what they need to do, and then you see them hit that mark and no, achieve that goal no no greater feeling as a coach when you're working on something with a player whether it's in the weight room or a move or 
a technique and to watch him go out there and execute it against uh, live competition. Well, it was one of the biggest joys I had in my uh, coaching career. You can really say that about any student, really, that they, get, they need to own it. Whatever their, their goals and aspirations are, they're in possession of their destiny. They need to own it. Ward. Kicked there by Moore. You look at Casey Shaw. I think they got a foul underneath on Curry really? Barry. Away I, from that? I, I thought that may, maybe maybe I got it wrong. I, I thought they had a, a foul, but they got a baseline out of bounds here. And Curry was trying to kind of pushing and wrapping. I take that back. Just just a just a kickball baseline out of bounds. Early. Eyed by Curry. Looking to move on him. Whooping right hand goal. Uh, you know, that's that was when we highlighted him in the yeah. start lineup uh, that he had you know, 12 points in their exhibition game, shot 6 of 10 from the field. That was one of his uh, strongest baskets here in the basketball game. That left shoulder turned to that right hand hook. Picked off by the Red Hawks. Getting a little bit of spark here. Clark. Larson, corner three. Put back though, nice move underneath by Kobe Clark. Well, got out the 30 points, and loads of loss of concentration, and Coach Drew wants to get oh, a timeout so he can crack the whip and get his team refunded. Very active and alert. 26. What is going on in the stands here? They, got well, just, just, they, they like just to play across. The There's a certain amount of seats in each <laughs> section, you know, for the habits. And, and I think they exceed that. They ran out. Because <laughs> they never sit down, except in that case. It was hard on camo night to actually see where they were. Going. Harrison. Brennan trying to free him up. Ward's going to be called. Well, they went back to their bread and butter after getting a little sloppy mm -hmm. offensively. Some heat checks. It didn't go. They went right back to the high pick and roll, how they started this basketball game with Harrison and Brennan, and it resulted in a foul call. See if they go back to it again. Harrison takes the inbound. Five by Ward, bounce pass McLaughlin. Moves to the near side. Knocked down by Clark. Red Hawks stepping it up defensively. It's nice to see, right? Because yeah. this team was getting their uh, the doors blown off. They were down 29 points, and they have not quit. They were going to play a full 40 minutes out here in this first basketball game. They picked it up both offensively and now defensively. They get the steal. Yes, they did up over the top. McLaughlin's pass to Brennan picked off by Clark Ward. Directing traffic. He had 10 in their exhibition win. Takes it back. Pace catch there. Early turns to the bucket, working on Brennan. Baseline underneath, waits patiently. Nice work. Hey, Molly Moore's bunch uh, was playing against a squad that was up 21 points, and oh boy. they would come back and won. So, this little 6 0 run does not put the Lowe's in any kind of danger, but it just goes to show you can't quit on a team. Those guys are D1 athletes, they came out here to compete. Step back, get the uh, Fortuitous bounce. Colin Moore, his pass picked off by El Camille. Yeah, missed shots, turnover, back to back turnovers now, and they've erased 10 points off of that deficit. Got to learn how to keep that foot on the gas. Moore takes a couple of bumps. Larson down deep. Brennan got a hand on it. Harrison on the run. Bounce pass. Ooh. Larson got a hand, but turn around. Tyon Grant Foster, thank you. Well, sometimes those bounce passes, they come up with a little extra spin on them, and it spun right out of Tyon's hands, but he stayed with it and then fought that one off the glass. And Lopes really needed a basket. They were stuck on 63 for way too long. Stop and pop. Doesn't go. El Camille pulled down by Brennan. He kind of tipped that to himself now. Get that man a solid double figures and rebounds with 10. That's a double-double if I remember correctly. A 12 and 10 for Brennan. Tyon Grant Foster having himself. A He's doing too much. He got the whole ghillie suit on from like the sniper unit. Uh, but the banana wasn't wasn't getting it done. Sure, yeah. 
kind of stands out a little bit. <laughs> Into Isaiah Shaw. Tap dances on the line there. Stays in bounds. Leave for Grant Foster. Probably a smart move. Oh, look at the move by Smart. Stone there. Beautiful work by Aidana. Oh, ball. Urscher, three. Short. Tie on Grant Foster. Round two. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, okay. Sure, I'll take it. it it's almost like he's in X mode and everybody else is just moving slower out there on the floor. He got that rebound and got it to the three throw three-point line, lickety split. Like, there's no red shirts down there even to put up a fight. Get that kid 30 points tonight, Barry. We still got over 10 minutes to play in this game. Smart back in the game for the Red Hawks. Been sitting for a little while. Corner Beal goes by. Tyon Grant Foster swooping right hand and good work. About the only thing Tyon Grant Foster has not done well tonight. You got to close out under control, not allowing that guy straight line access to the basket. Moore moves right. McLaughlin back up. Brennan near side. Isaiah Shaw. Grant Foster took his eyes off of it. Two is roll back over to Shaw. I wonder if he's getting tired. Dude. It's just the ball's getting real loose. Sweeping back out. McLaughlin three. That's off the mark. Pulled down by Ursher. Does look a little tired. Oh, I got a, a big push. You got Duke Brennan been cle clearing the glass real well. And he has a good job of putting his body. On that defender, and pushed him right up underneath the basket and out of bounds. But Gil Grennan, we talk about this kid have you know, a, a basketball game himself. 12 points on five of six shooting. He's got three offensive rebounds with 10 total rebounds in this game. Luke War checks in, as does Sidney Curry, Brennan, and Tyon Grant Foster take a breather. I like this group with Isaiah Shaw uh, in this mix as well. It seems to be kind of like the 9 to 10 guy rotation that uh, Coach Bryce Drew is going with here in his first half, uh, in his first game, brother. Sorry, I got a foul out. Was that six on him? This night be over then. Yeah, five, make it six. Oh, five fouls. I'm sorry. That's not the problem. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, my damn soul. <laughs> That's downtown. Ooh, a little slip there by Moore. Finds Curry. Harrison. From behind, Smart's going to be called. A little overzealous. You know, Harrison has used these perimeter bigs really well to rub his defender off of them to gain an advantage. And... That time he got in front of the defense. There's nothing they could do but tackle him from behind. Harrison to Curry. Handed back to Ray. Into the paint. Shaw. Three. Off the mark. Pulled down by Smart. A little surprised Harrison kicked that one back out. It seemed like he had an easy opportunity to shoot a little floater right in the paint. Martin. Three. Good. After a real slow start from behind the arc, the Red Hawks here in the second half have knocked down seven three-point field goals, or seven to 16. Knocked out of bounds. 9-10 remaining second half. Kion Grant Foster is at the 30-point plateau tonight. He's the 23rd 30-point player by a lope in the D1 era. Shaw, Curry, looks to his left, Harrison. Shaw again, up over the top to Curry. Oh, this should be lunch downside. Garrett Curry takes his time. That time, the big left hand. Yeah, I like that, right, to clear out that hole. Right block for Curry, let him come back to the middle with that sweeping and strong left hand of his. Peels away, Beal. Lost it, boy. One more time. Look at the way Isaiah Shaw just moves right to the top of the floor, taking that defender with him so he can't sit back in Curry's lap. And then Curry's got that whole side of the floor to operate. And 
<laughs> That's just too easy for the big fella down there. I mean, he's got a 30-pound advantage. That's enough. I've done, I've done my job. I got you off. Now let me go ahead and call it's my own number my own, a few yeah. times. Inbound. Martin. Bounce pass. Inside. Early. Heavy traffic. That's a ball. That is a ball. Get the buck, the bunny hop down low and give Curry a lot of uh, credit for causing that turnover. Even with the faster Early's feet, he did a nice job staying with him, sliding those big biscuits. I like the way he got over there and challenged that shot. Causing Early to take that extra step. I have to note that Duke Brennan is on the bench as more drives sweeping underhand doesn't go Brennan a career high in rebounds first career double-double tonight Beal oh! It's gonna leave a mark a Big eight swatted that basketball. I, I think he gets the ball cleanly, but look at the body contact underneath as uh, He crashes right into that big frame of uh, Curry is underneath yeah. there, but hey, you want you can give up anything easy inside regardless of the score. There may be a little bit of that right forehand on the shoulder, too, but I like that. I want a guy down there that's gonna control that basket and say, You gotta go to the free throw line and earn it from the charity stripe. You're not getting any and ones on us, not in our house. Calgary, Alberta native. T.J. Beal, 20-point lead, GCU. Yeah, 51 points in the uh, first half, just seven, uh, 18 here in the second for the local. Oh, look at that look back. At that. Curry with a nice assist. Are you Isaiah kidding Bob. me? This big fella's got the ability yeah. to find slashers to the basket, deliver a strike, and then he gets the turnover. Nice like this Curry kid. Vision. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love, I love the finish by Shaw, but I love the pass by Curry even more, I think. We talked about uh, Isaiah Shaw finishing strong at the rack. Brennan as well, but that's the great thing, right, in a game like this. You got Caleb Shaw over there. You got the kid um, Amenhauser. He can come in. You know he's got capabilities to play. So a lot of players on that GC bench where there's not a whole lot of drop off. Uh, coach is going to be able to walk down that bench. He's got a lot of players to rotate in. He's going to have two more coming back from injury. <laughs> I say, now, what is I say Grant Foster skates over and he's go, coming back. He wants some more, I guess. Coach Drew's going to let him get it, too. Seven. This is a one and one here. That was the seventh team foul. And oh, Curry couldn't get it, but who else? It seemed like every ball that comes uh, off the rim it either goes to Brennan or Grant Foster. Moore near side leads for War. Quickly to Curry. Oh, getting maybe a little too happy uh, passing that ball from the high <laughs> from the high post. Now I, I thought that went off a red shirt, but so the officials I. are going to give it back to the Red Hawks. But, you know, Curry, I, I mentioned Brennan doing a good job on the gloves. I have not seen uh, the praises of Curry on that class tonight. He's got seven boards, so flowers for Curry as he's been able to choose some glass tonight. Nine turnovers by the Lopes in this half. Help to clean up. Early. Ward. Martin. Bob Martin. Over the top, early, working on Curry. Swooping right hand again, doesn't go. Moore is able to gather it in. Moore, near side. Cuts in, slicing, dicing, swooping right in. That drag screen oh, is devastating. Curry setting that screen just in transition before the defense has a chance to set. Let's Curry go all the way from the left side of the floor to the right side for the easy layoff class. Larson to early. Leaves for Martin. Stop, pop quickly. Off the mark. 
Back it on the glass. Well, doing a real good job on the glass. A plus 17 uh, now advantage for the Lopes on the glass. Oh, Harrison to Ward. Corner three. Curry. Puts it back. Just too big, too strong. Curry down there is like wrestling him with a 16-foot alligator. You're not going to win many of those battles unless you do your work real early and get him away from the basket. If he's got two feet down in that painted area, you're in a bad way on that offensive glass. Early. Looks like he might have caught the hand coming down from Curry. He'll have to come out of the game. See that right hand come down. And caught him. Down, rubbing that right eye. Ward. Near side. Crossed up there a little bit with Stacker. Oh, Luke War. Ball ball. Other chicken. More beat on the dribble drive to the to the right baseline, but just the length. What's the length and the recovery time by War? Just gets up at the high point and just gets his hand right on top of the basketball. We saw. Grant Foster swat one away that looked like it was going to be an easy two in the first half, and that looked like it was going to be easy two. Warzer says no, not on my watch. Oh, that's going to be backcourt violation. Yeah, look at that. Look, look where you are. Stacker's trying to plead his case that Probably. I didn't have two feet in the front court when I caught the ball, but all you need is one, and he carried that ball into the backcourt with him. So again, some uh, early uh, issues that need to be cleaned up here in this opening uh, night. Oh, listen to the fans, Barry. The student section is calling for Noah Amundsen to get some playing time here in this game. And I'm sure Coach Drew is going to give him a, a good four or five minutes worth of run. Curry with the drive to the bucket. Oh, Curry's just showing off now. He's got himself six points to go along with those eight boards. Brennan and McLaughlin are at the scorer's table. Bounce pass off the handle there. Moore on the floor. Five, got it able, able to get it up to tie on Grant Foster. Underhand doesn't go. Curry comes in. Love the animal mystic noises, Barry. That you, but you're 100 percent right. Curry doing a man's job down there in that paint. Rebounds, putbacks, moving bodies. I love it. Leads back up the third. Off the mark. Oh, war. Yeah, they got these guys so wild, wild up going to the offensive last Now you've seen Ward, Curry, and McLaughlin, and Brennan all get fouls trying to get that extra possession. And if you're Coach Bryce Drew, I don't think you're too upset about his guys going to the basket. They'll learn exactly what kind of contact and when they can actually get one versus when to get back on defense as the season goes, goes on. Luke Ward fouls out. Keith Josephs into the game. Marcus Flags will check into the game. He's at the table. Brendan came back in. Isaiah Shaw and Gabe McLaughlin. With 4.41 to go, we'll probably see some other players on that bench. Kobe Clark at the free throw line. The Red Hawks leading rebounder from a season ago. The chance continue for Noah. An educated group. Knocked out. By the Lopes. Stacker to inbound. See Ammonhauser. Flag out there. Uh, Look who's up. Oh, crowd erupted as uh, Coach Drew sends Amenhauser to the scorer's table to report for this game. How's this kid a fan favorite? He hasn't even played a minute yet. A little exhibition <laughs> action. DMX at the table. 
a story for Derek Michael at Javiera collapsed long a season ago. Joseph's call. The crowd erupts. Ammenhauser acknowledges. McLaughlin checks out. Brennan checks out. Now you wonder, did, did uh, Coach Drew have Ammenhauser coming in about the four-minute mark? Well, or was it the student body that put a little pressure on him to get him some extra time? Early. Doesn't matter. He's out there now. Let's see what he can do with those minutes. Oh, nice pass. We saw that from the Lopes. That was beautiful yeah. execution of the half cute offense there. Just a little give and go, and I'll give it to you, and I'm going to go to the basket. You give it back to me. We, we, get, we all get two points. Legs. Oh, tried to give it back to Ammenhauser, but picked off. Kobe Clark. Wow. 3.37 to go. It's been all GCU tonight in this regular season opener. But they went to each little event together, bowling, laser tag together, and I can say that Noah was there. So, you know, the crowd would be pleased with that, too. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Kate. I think chemistry develops mostly out there on the road or doing things at home, game nights. We used when I was coaching in the well, was the D League back then, but the G League, we went go kart racing. Uh, we visit the Statue of Liberty when I was with the Chicago Bulls. I know there was a big snowball fight last year the Lopes yeah. had before they went on their run to the WAC Tournament Championship. So all those things that you do sometimes away from the floor leads to success on the floor. We're on the community at St. Mary's Food Bank recently as well. Stepped out to Joseph's. A little mop up duty here. The Lopes on their way to beginning the 2023 20, 24 season 1 0. So they have to defend their WAC title and return to the NCAA tournament. Northeast Missouri looking to defend their title in the Ohio Valley Conference. Stacker. Back to war. Fortuitous bounce on the putback for the Red Hawks. Yeah, Coach Drew came out. He brought this second unit in here and said, let's work on our zone defense a little bit, see if we can cut off the interior where they drive the ball right to the basket. Then they get the offensive book back because the Lopes aren't able to defend their glass. So, you know, we talk about mop-up minutes, but important minutes for these yeah. guys on the floor. They want to get more minutes when it really counts. you got to go out here and execute during this stretch. And sometimes that's, that's harder to do than in it should be just because you're playing with such a large advantage. Shaw, rebound. TMX! Wow. That was quick. He snaps that offensive board, doesn't bring it down, Barry, and then puts it in. Another triple for the Red Hawks. Marquez Bell, seeing some time, drains the corner three. Chelsea, driving. Off the glass, Marquise. Wow, I'll tell you what, these uh, guards know how to use these bigs out there on the perimeter to gain an advantage and get to the rack. DMX gets credit for that big pick. Stacker, far side. That matchup zone needs work. Corner, drain, Gavin Elkamy. Yeah, two guys going to the basketball with a missed communication. I think Coach Price Drew is going to get him out of that zone defense. Realize that we're gonna have to work on that in practice a little bit more. Let these guys go man to man for his last 90 seconds. Joseph drives. Oh, 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 back to back. Dribble drive with a kiss. That's there. Joseph's got those after partners. Yeah. He got a little of that uh, uh, Nuna beat beat there that we, we, we see out of the uh, starting point guard when he's not on uh, the bench nursing that knee injury. He just takes his puts his head down and goes hard to the rack. Ten lopes with a field goal tonight. Al Camille off the mark. Derek Michael is out yellow. Tipped it off. So Minute. Minute. Tell Fly, he's got the corner shooter. He keeps running out there to the left, the, the right wing, and that's not his cover. Zaviero for Shaw. 
Crowd wanted Isaiah Shaw to throw that thing down to Amenhauser. Saw said, no, I got a couple threes. Oh. I'm going to add one more to the mix. He got the iron so kind as that thing stayed on the rim with that backspan for extra count and a half and finally dripped in for him. Ward. Bell. Coming in hit a three. Looking for a seam. Amenhauser got a hand on it. Stacker three. Well, that's going to do it for this one. And I got to say, outside of a little five minute lull there in the second half, Lopes looked real impressive in this basketball game defensively, crashing the offensive glass. And boy, if they got a player and tie on Grant Foster. 88 67. Lopes win. The Lopes win it, their regular season opener.